going to show you how to use the interactive topaz by reconstruction module and the interest of this module compared to the classic interactive topaz. So here's a use case of interactive topaz segmentation. First, we set the size of the internal porosity we want to segment. Then the second step is to set the threshold of the segmentation. We check on every slices, and when we are satisfied, we click on apply. It will generate the volume of the internal porosities. We can then visualize them with the original volume data of the chocolate bar. And as you can see, there are several areas where the internal porosity segmented do not really correspond to internal porosity, but rather to open cavities instead. So because of that, we can say that this result isn't exactly what we really want. And right now, we are going to improve this result by using the interactive topad by reconstruction module instead. This is exactly the same module, except it works differently inside because it uses a grayscale reconstruction. But the, step, the steps of the module remain exactly the same. So the first step is still to set the size of the internal porosities. Then you set the threshold of the internal porosity you want to segment. You check on every slices. And when you are satisfied, you click on apply. So this is exactly the same as we did before. And now we can compare both results. And we can uh, actually see that this time, the internal porosity segmented do really correspond to internal porosity only and not to open cavities also. So this time the result is far better than it was before. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.